Hello, I'm Dr. Scott Persons. Welcome to Ask a Paleontologist. Today's question comes to us from David. And David writes, is it true that T-Rex was really just a scavenger? Well, David, no. Thanks for the question, and if you've got one, say hello below or drop me a line on Twitter. Okay, let's back up a little bit, because this is a question that I get asked a lot. The idea that Tyrannosaurus rex was only an obligate scavenger, that is, it only went around looking for already dead carcasses and was not an active predator or hunter, goes back to the 90s and a paleontologist named Jack Horner. And Jack Horner made his argument based on his interpretations of numerous anatomical traits in the skeleton of Tyrannosaurus, beginning with the teeth. So this is one Tyrannosaurus rex tooth. Now you've probably heard it said that T-Rex has teeth like steak knives. And that's commonly said because, like a steak knife and like most other carnivorous dinosaur teeth, T-Rex has got serrations, that is very tiny little bumps forming an edge on its tooth. In fact, Tyrannosaurus rex has got two serrated edges, one on the front and one on the back. And just like the ridges on a steak knife, these serrated edges would help the tooth slice through flesh. But Horner noticed that the teeth of T-Rex were not like a steak knife in another regard. Tyrannosaurus rex does not have teeth that are sharp on the tip. In fact, the teeth are quite blunt. A tooth like this would be really, really good at punching through solid bone. And being able to punch through solid bone is an adaptation that makes a lot of sense if you're a scavenger. Because as a scavenger, you're often coming across carcasses that other predators have picked over. And one source of nutrients you might be able to exploit on the already picked over carcass is the marrow inside of the bone if you had a way to get at it. Horner also made the argument that Tyrannosaurus rex had the mind of a scavenger, that Tyrannosaurus rex had a brain built for scavenging. Now, of course, dinosaur brains don't fossilize, but what does fossilize is their brain case, that is, the portion of the skull that houses the brain. And by looking at the inside structure of a brain case, we can get an idea for the size and the shape of a dinosaur's brain. So what does the inside of Tyrannosaurus brain case look like? Well, it looks like this. This is the endocast of a Tyrannosaur brain case. And looking at it, one thing that immediately jumps out by comparison to a lot of other animals is how large this region of the brain would have been. This is where you'd find the olfactory lobes, that is, the part of the brain that processes your sense of smell. Tyrannosaurus rex evidently had a great sniffer. And that seems like a trait you might find in a scavenger as well, because, of course, if you're trying to find something that's dead and rotting, following your nose is a good way to go. Lastly, Horner pointed out that Tyrannosaurus rex may have had a hard time catching prey because it was so large. And being so big, T-Rex would have had a hard time moving very quickly. But you don't have to move fast at all if all you're hunting is stuff that's already dead. Okay, so those sound like pretty good arguments. Why then at the beginning of this video did I say so confidently Tyrannosaurus rex was not just a scavenger? Well, science works by coming up with hypotheses, experimenting, evaluating your results, and throwing out whatever doesn't make sense. And the truth is, Tyrannosaurus rex as an obligate scavenger really doesn't make any sense. Let's start with the argument about Tyrannosaurus's speed. Well, it's true T-Rex was really big, and a lot of paleontologists still argue about just how fast the T-Rex could or couldn't run. It's very clear, and there is consensus, that however fast it was, it was probably faster than most of the large herbivorous dinosaurs that lived at the same time. And that's because of the bones in T-Rex's legs. Tyrannosaurus rex has very very long leg bones by comparison to, say, Triceratops or a duckbill. And long legs is a very important factor in determining just how fast 
you can run. Okay, what about the brain of Tyrannosaurus rex? Well, T-Rex certainly did have a very good sense of smell, but it wasn't unique in that regard. Since studying the brain of Tyrannosaurus rex, paleontologists have also looked at the endocast of other large carnivorous dinosaurs, like the animal Giganotosaurus from South America, and it too has a very large olfactory lobe. In fact, it's even bigger. Was Giganotosaurus also a scavenger? No. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even have the teeth for the job. What about those teeth? Well, T-Rex absolutely has teeth that would be good at breaking bone. And I'm sure T-Rex did break a lot of bones with its teeth. But just like that would be good for a scavenger to have, could also be really good for a predator. After all, if you're chasing after prey and you're able to deliver a debilitating bone-breaking bite, you've basically won the hunt. And we can say confidently that Tyrannosaurus rex did use its bone-breaking bite to hunt with thanks to specimens like this. You're looking at two vertebrae from the tail of the duckbill dinosaur Edmontosaurus, but the two vertebrae had become fused together because they suffered a severe injury. What kind of injury? You guessed it, a Tyrannosaurus rex bite. And we know that for sure because embedded between the two healed bones is a Tyrannosaurus rex tooth still in place. And obviously, this duckbill dinosaur was alive when the T-Rex bit it because dead duckbill tails do not heal. So there you go, David. Tyrannosaurus rex was certainly a predator. Now, that doesn't mean it wasn't also a scavenger. In fact, it'd be strange if Tyrannosaurus rex wasn't. Nowadays, most large carnivores do a little bit of both. For instance, although we think of hyenas as being obligate scavengers, they actually do an awful lot of hunting, even though they also have teeth that are really good at breaking bone. On the other hand, lions, which we tend to think of as being predators, do a lot of scavenging. Tyrannosaurus rex was a big carnivore that couldn't afford to pass up a free meal if something happened to die nearby, but it was also an animal that couldn't afford to wait for that to happen and probably did go out on the hunt fairly regularly. And let me end by reading you a very quick excerpt from this book here. I'm not convinced T-Rex was only a scavenger though I will say so sometimes, just to be contrary and to get my colleagues arguing. That's from The Complete T-Rex, written by Jack Horner. Thanks for the question. If you've got one for paleontologists, say so below.